Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Yitcher, if you know we out here right now. Uh, about to make my way to the bus and get to O'Hare, you know, um, my car is in the shop. So, you know, I'm the mechanic that's been working on my car for a while. I hope I'm supporting your kid's college education. But yeah, you know, uh, feeling okay, legs a little tight. So, um, I'm going to be hoping and wishing that it, it magically loosens up. But, um, yeah, I do apologize for the lighting. You know, we in the dark because uh, you know, I got to pay that electricity bill. Comment. Just chill out. You're going to get that check. Ah, right, man. I'm out. Stay tuned. Oh no, my bus! My bus! My bus! My bus! My bus! Alright, what's good, y'all? Uh, what's good, y'all? We're here. Yeah. So, boy, I missed you. It's your trip made it to the park. We're in the uh, Boston Commons. Right now, we're in Boston. My uh, Boston accent, we at the park. Uh, I noticed a couple things out here. The East Coast, man, they don't care about crossing the streets. They, they don't, they ignore stop signs. Like, the cars, like, don't mean anything to pedestrians. They just cross the street. That was kind of interesting. I smell a lot of drill in there, too. So I don't know what's going on in this park, man. We don't have to launch an investigation. But now we hear uh, some hiccups along the way. But, you know, I made it to Boston. But, you know, my Uber app's not working too well right now. So I don't know how I'm going to get to the hotel. Because it's 15 miles away. And I can't walk there with all my luggage. So I'll stay tuned. Red Solo Cup, I feel you up, let's have a party. I've seen a lot of Red Solo Cups out here, man. I don't know, man. It's a beautiful day, though. Beautiful day to be a wild kid, right? No, wait, it's a great day to be a wild kid. Yeah, we can't mess the company line up. It's always a tradition. You gotta jump on the bed. You gotta jump on the bed. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you're ready. Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elevator grind. We're on the elevator grind. We're on the elevator grind. We're on the elevator grind. On the elevator grind. So I found this robe. I thought I'd make myself at home. But uh, anyways, you know, I've, uh, I like Boston a lot so far, man. Boston has a lot of character, you know? Um, I can see myself living here in the next couple of years. Nah, anything, anything's possible, but nah, it's a really cool place. My leg's pretty tight right now. Um, you can show, show the leg. You know, trying to rest up, we're trying to, to, to roll it out. Uh, so, I'm praying for a miracle, but uh, I'm really excited to be here, man. I'm really excited, so stay tuned. Oh man, I think we took a wrong turn right now. We're just trying to find a Panera Bread. Um, are we out here? I don't know where we are, man. This might be my last, uh, last take. So, uh, enjoy it while we can. We need a ride! First half of the race, it probably wasn't going to happen for me today because I, I, I was stiff and I wasn't having a lot of fun. But then I got to mile 13. I stopped at Wellesley College uh, with girls and stuff. Um, if you don't know much about that, you got to look that up. I stopped twice. Um, and then I started remembering what all you know, cross country athletes are telling me and what I try to preach to the students is you got to smile. And that really helped, man. From mile 13 to 17, I felt like I was. 
on a good move, and I was like, oh yeah, we we, we bet, we bet. And so we resuscitated or had life, and then all of a sudden I got up to the hills and my calves stopped working. So I had to stop, I went to the medical tent, tried to stretch out the calves, didn't really do much. But so I kept stopping and going, and spectators were, oh my god, so amazing. Like, Evanson, I was wearing an Evanson stop. Evanson, you got it. Come on. And, you know, like, so I was running and walking the last, like, eight miles. Uh, it, it was painful, but it was it was cool. It was a cool perspective. Like, I was upset, obviously, with my time, but I got a chance to talk to spectators, um, see runners, you know, uh, not see runners, but, like, actually get to talk to them as well. I had a couple people stop and ask me how I was doing. So it was just, like, it gave me a different perspective. Um, I was able to kind of stop and smell the roses. So, uh, but again, thank you for all those that, that did reach out. I'm feeling okay. Uh, definitely in great spirits. Uh, it was a cool experience. You gotta come to Boston if you've never been to Boston for this uh, for the marathon. But uh, thank you for all the messages. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I had a really good time. Uh, that closed the vlog, but. Takeaway, I got punched in the mouth, you know, I deal with adversity, and I'm, you know, I can't wait for the, the next race, so I'm ready to get back to work, because um, we don't get, we don't stay on the ground, we get punched in the face, we get punched in the face, we get back up, we get back up, yo, alright, your boy's out.